Hey you guys, happy Friday, happy mommy for all weekend. So it is 6.30 and today we have a very exciting day. Um, I actually have to rush right now and get ready and film a video and edit it and submit it. Um, it's a collab video and I'm gonna do like a holiday tutorial which is kind of weird because after that I have my oncology appointment at 2.30 and that's when I get all my results. Um, so good vibes for that. Uh, well, when you see this video, it'll already be in the future, but you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so I get all my oncology results at 2.30, so I'm like, man, should I wash my face after I film, or should I just head over there with, like, eye pigment? Because, you know, I mean, if we're gonna get good news or bad news, I might as well have, like, full-on glam, right? And then in the afternoon or evening, um, Country Fest. So Country Fest is like a concert at the Verizon Amphitheater, and there's gonna be three acts. Uh, Kane Brown, I believe, is the second, and then Chris Young is the last or the biggest act, which is who I wanna go see. Um, I literally have asked, I know literally pisses some of you guys off, I'm sorry, it's just part of my vernacular, and I can't really stop using it. Um, I've asked so many people to go with me, but not so many people where you're like, oh, okay, I'm like desperate trying to find random people to go with. I just, I've like kind of gone back through like my contacts and like people that I know and even, I mean, it's just random people that I think would enjoy it because I feel like with a thing like a concert, you have to go with someone that either likes the artist, likes the genre, or just has a really great attitude on life. You know, and not very many people like country. Yeah, so it's just really hard to find people that like country and the people that like modern country. I personally prefer like classic country, old school like Alabama or Johnny Cash, but recently I've gotten into a lot of um, more modern acts. Uh, not down for the bedazzled skinny jeans, but uh, the music's kind of cool. So I've become a huge fan of Chris Young, plus it helps that he's kind of dreamy. Um, yeah, so I want to go, but Everyone's like, mm, uh, and I don't want to take anyone that isn't really going to be into it. The other thing is that when I bought the tickets, I was going to go by myself anyway, but I couldn't buy any tickets anymore. So I had to go on to like a ticket reseller and they only sell those in pairs. So I had to get two tickets. So I was like, oh, I might as well I have an extra ticket. I might as well go with someone. Like I've told you guys a million times before, I'm not opposed to doing stuff on my own, honestly. Like I could literally be doing this at a concert by myself, talking to you guys, vlogging, and I'd be totally down with it. It's not a big deal. But I thought to myself, well, I have the extra ticket. I might as well get after it. I keep touching my face. My face, I don't know if, I don't know if it's the new detergent that I'm using, you know, with my pillowcase or the new cleanser or what's happening, but I've been like super itchy and I, I just can't stop scratching. So I've like scratched at my face and scratched at my neck. I like, I'm just itchy. Um, not to mention that we had our very first like flurry whatever here in Dallas. It's been super cold. So that dries out my skin instantly. And I don't have that like bounce back that I used to when I was in my twenties. Now if like my skin reacts to something, it, takes a little while to get past it. Anyway, so 6.30, I'm gonna make my coffee. Hey, Mer, do you wanna say good morning? 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 Do you? Who's the number most prettiest girl? Yeah, hi, Mer. Come here. Oh, look at how pretty this color is, you guys. This is November from Kathleen Lights. It's like the prettiest, like, I don't know, dusty rose. You want to say hi to, don't you? Yeah, you do. You want to say hi to, don't you? Yes, you do. Who's the most handsome boy? Who's the most handsome boy? Is it you? Or is it Popo? Is it Popo? Oh, is it more handsome? Oh, is it more handsome? I really need to stop wasting time. Shower, film, edit, doctor. We're, we're doing this? Let's do it. We're about to get some life-changing news. Whether it's a huge sigh of relief, or it's time to build this bridge. Hey, hey, you guys, it is 11 o'clock. I just finished filming this holiday look for you guys. No false lashes, can you believe it? This is all collab mascara, high-rise mascara, 
will change your life. You're welcome. Um, so it's 11 o'clock. I have one hour to edit this video, upload it, and submit it. Um, so send me your good luck vibes because I really hope there's no editing involved. I mean, you guys are already familiar with my content. Like, I really should either stop talking so much, filter myself a little bit, or do a lot better of a job editing, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's part of my charm, this whole like, just say what's on my mind. Can we talk about this blush for a second? This blush is so good. I will link this tutorial in the description box below, but in the meantime, in case it's not live, this nose is giving me life. I know a lot of you are getting very aggravated at me right now with this nose, but you know what? Rudolph thug life. Let's call it what it is. Um, this lip color, this eyeliner, this mascara, this blush, they're all products that you definitely need to add to your collab collection. So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, transfer the footage over. I actually have to take the thumbnail pictures, which is like the, like the, the selfie glamour shots that go on the cover of the video. Um, I have to do that now, and then I'll run upstairs, edit the video, and, um, then head over to my appointment. I kind of don't want to go. Do you guys want to come with me? I think I've been tough long enough. Like I've been tough for a few weeks now. Um, I'm kind of at that point where I'm like, okay, is it safe to say that I'm really nervous? Like, can I say that yet or not yet? Cause I'm all about that like tough guy city life, but Oh, just a few more hours, you guys, just a few more hours. Hey, hey, you guys, it is two o'clock. I am heading out the door to go to my results appointment. So um, it's uh, safe to say that I am officially freaking out. But before we freak out, can we please talk about this manicure? Look at that hand and then wait for it. Look at that one. Okay, there's two ways to know when I'm stressed out, because I'm always gonna be the mayor of Cool Guy City, let's be honest. There's two ways to know. My manicure, the way my manicure looks, or the way my house looks. And uh, not like my house is ever really destroyed, but if there's like a sink full of dishes or my bed looks like that, that means there's a lot of stuff happening in here. Yeah, so I'm kind of freaking out. But before we head out the door, I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. Because priorities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, my scarf is actually a birthday gift from my brother and sister-in-law. Oh my God, you guys. In a video, one of you guys asked me, sister-in-law? I thought you were divorced. Like, what's the gossip? I was like, I have a brother who's married, which means his wife is my sister-in-law. <laughs> so, um, duh, <laughs> that's what I was talking about. Yeah, so how cute is it? It's like a sweater scarf. It's like super bunchy and cute, and it kind of has two sides. All right, there's better lighting. I was like, this sexual lighting is doing it, but just not so much right now. Yeah, so it has two sides. It's totally like one color scheme on one side, and then totally a different color scheme on the other. Well, I didn't do a very good job presenting that, but it does, I promise. Um, and then I'm just wearing this really cute ruffle sweater that I got last year from Banana Republic. I actually got it in like every single color. Actually not last year, two years ago. And then just jeans and boots, let me show you. So yeah, this is the sweater from Banana Republic. It's really cute, it has like this little ruffle. I got it in every single color they had it available. I was just, you guys know, I don't do things in moderation. And then just regular boot cut jeans, although they look like skinny jeans on me because my boots are so wide. But I'm wearing cowboy boots. It's kind of distorting the shape of my pant leg, but that's okay. Anyway, I kind of want to eat in and out. So here's the plan. We're gonna go to my doctor's appointment, and then we're gonna go to my PO box, and then we're gonna go to in and out And if the timing works out, and uh, I find out more information on this concert, then we'll go together. Otherwise, I still have a lot of work to do, so there you go. How's that for a crazy Friday?
I just got to my appointment. I'm 15 minutes early. And um, I don't know how you guys handle nerves or stress. But I eat. <laughs> I eat my feelings. <laughs> the other night I had like three different cupcakes. Like it was my birthday. I use it as an excuse. But it was really just because I was freaking out a little bit. So I went to Burger King. Needless to say, now I don't need to go to In-N-Out. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I got here early because now I can enjoy um, some onion rings and uh, eat my feelings. <laughs> I'm a little torn because half of me is super excited about this appointment because I'm like, yeah, I finally have some answers of why I don't feel so good. And like, we can move forward. You know, we'll have a plan. We can just do this, figure it out, build the bridge. But then the other part of me is like, well, I mean, if I don't go to the appointment, then I don't need to find out anything, you know, like I'll just, I'll just keep functioning and it'll be fine. And, uh, what is it? Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> so I'm like excited, but super nervous. <laughs> and I obviously laugh a lot when I'm very nervous. So I'm just going to sit here and eat my onion rings and then, uh, see you guys in like an hour and see what happened. Oh, I'm so nervous. o'clock. I'm officially a hematology patient. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what's funny is I kind of had this idea in the back of my mind of what I probably knew was going to happen, but I didn't want to say it because if it was less, then I would be disappointed. And if it was more, I'd be extra <laughs> disappointed. So Basically, um, I have iron malabsorption, and I told you guys that I've been anemic my entire life. Um, it's just gotten a lot worse now. And uh, my doctor was explaining to me how we have iron in our body, and it um, functions in different forms and links to certain proteins in order to go to bone marrow production or to circulate through your blood. Uh, my problem is that my reserves and the iron that's free flowing are both like scarily low. So for someone my age, my levels should be around 50 to 60. I'm coming in at about six in reserves and in free flowing iron. So, uh, he's like, it's, it's a big surprise to me how you can have so much energy. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, I've just always been a happy person, you know? And he's like, well, I really like your disposition. I'm just so relieved that um, it's that, I guess. I mean, I would much rather him say you're just tired and nothing's wrong with you, but I guess I'm just much more relieved that it's this. Um, the only thing now is that um, I do need to get iron infusions and these are, um, I guess appointments that take about four to five hours um, and I'm really scared <laughs> I'm not like a fan of needles but I'm not scared of them um, I'm not scared of surgeries I'm not scared of blood none of that stuff like has you know freaks me out I actually had both of my sons via cesarean and I told my ex-husband to film it because I wanted to see the whole procedure um, and he just couldn't do it like he was so lightheaded and dizzy and he had to sit down and all that stuff fascinates me so I'm not scared of the actual infusion I'm scared that um, it's five hours long uh, in a room with people that have bigger problems than I do, you know, and I don't know if I can sit there for that long. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. Um, but I do want to say that this is a very humbling experience and it's, uh, it definitely puts things into perspective. And I think I've addressed this in Instagram posts before where your perspective is everything, you know? Is your glass half full, half empty, or are you just happy you have a glass, you know? So I'm very relieved and I'm very happy, but I'm also um, very cognizant and aware of how fragile life is and, you know, how 
I have a lot of people in my life that need me and need me to be healthy and need me to take care of myself. And the only way that I can do that is by putting myself first, especially my health. I guess it's time to start eating some hígado and cebollado, which is uh, liver and onions. <laughs> Keep taking my supplements and then wait until I get my infusion. So I don't know to what degree I want to continue documenting this aspect of my life, you know, because it is health and um, it's important and it's a big part of who I am and my current state in life. However, I don't want to, I don't want it to seem like I'm making light of an illness or anyone else's illness. You know, I don't want it to seem like I am making something seem much bigger than it is. You know, like I don't want it to seem, I don't want to make light of illness and I also don't want it to be so, uh, you know, taking over so much of my content. Like, oh, because, you know, I'm sick or whatever. I just whatever so I don't absorb iron <laughs> there are some solutions so I don't want to make light of it I also don't want to make big of it um, so I don't know I think it's gonna be something that I have to really think about but uh, that's the current state of my health uh, it's kind of exciting it's definitely a big relief but it's also a bridge that we're gonna start building and crossing over so Iron infusions, you guys. I'm gonna have to start getting iron infusions. I'll need two, one week apart each. They're gonna be four to five hours long. Uh, well, they said 300 minutes. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then I'll have to check back two months after those treatments and see how it's doing. And it might be something that I just need to keep doing. Some people are actually fortunate enough to get the infusion and then their body kind of resets itself and they're able to absorb iron on their own. Other people just need to have this treatment. So, uh, yeah, kind of happy you guys. Still very tired, uh, but now there's a good reason. <laughs> and still having second thoughts about going to this concert. Um, I really want to go. I just, I wish I knew what time to go. And it's in Grand Prairie. That's not like down the street. I should just go, you guys. I need to stop being such a wuss puss, you know? Just stop it. Hello, Danny. You just had a 30 minute appointment with really good results. I should just go to this appointment and tell everyone like, hey, I just need iron infusions. High five, stranger. <laughs> Uh, you guys are gonna be so disappointed in me, but I don't think I'm gonna go to the concert. I left that doctor's appointment and I came home and all I wanted to do was squeeze my dogs. Like just squeeze the crap out of them, love them. I took so many pictures with them, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, it was almost like this emotional moment where I was just feeling super blessed and happy and um, my dogs have always shown up for me when I need them. It's funny, my chihuahua has like this sixth sense where if I'm stressed or happy or sad or he just knows I need him, he is clingy at my side. He will not leave my side for five seconds. So, um, I don't know. I've just been hanging out with them and then I realized I was hungry and I was texting my friend Suomi and she's like, you know, it's been a very long month for you. You should just stay home and like take care of yourself, eat some comfort food, cuddle your dogs on a blanket, on the couch, go to bed early. And I was like, comfort food? I think I have some of that. So you guys are totally gonna judge me. <laughs> so when I'm sad and I'm kind of missing home or I'm homesick, it's kind of yucky, but I get Juanita's Menudo. <laughs> it comes in a can, but you guys can't knock it until you try it. It's actually really good. So um, it's kind of a Mexican food. If I describe it to you guys, you're gonna think it's gross, but I think it's absolutely delicious. And I sprinkle in some oregano, and um, chile piquin, which are these dried little chili balls. 
Um, it makes it spicy and then I squeeze in some lemon and I burn some tortillas. It tastes amazing. So I'm just going to sit in front of the TV for a little while and eat the heck out of my menudo. You want to see it? So I'm going to eat the heck out of this menudo. It's actually been sitting here for a while. So let me show you what this deliciousness looks like. You're probably like, Rose, Danny, you're the worst. This is the chili I'm talking to you guys about. Do you want to say hi? Hi, handsome boy. Yeah, so we're gonna eat the heck out of this and some burnt tortillas and then, I don't know, I'll see what happens later. Hey, you guys, happy Saturday. It is nine o'clock. Um, so yesterday I died, apparently, and I have mascara all over my face. And I stayed home. And I felt really good about it. I thought I was gonna feel guilty because I missed the concert, but it was something that I was looking forward to for myself. And if staying home to take care of myself um, is what I decided to do. I mean, it's like, it's, I feel like it's a good trade. So I actually slept in, I got up at eight, <laughs> slept in. <laughs> you guys are like, I actually slept in, I got up at eight. Right now I'm just uh, getting my coffee ready. Um, unloading the dishwasher. Oh, you guys want to see something? I did a mini Sephora haul. It's not actually a haul. I bought one thing um, with the 25 off 50 coupon that they sent for VIB Rouge. I think there was also like a 15 off 50 and a 20 off 50 But it was like the only way that I was gonna buy this perfume because with perfumes It's so hit or miss, you know, so when I was in Vegas, we walked into the to crystals It's like a really fancy shopping mall and they pump perfume through the vents that changes your life well apparently it's a custom perfume that they pump through the vents however the security guard um, told us what it was and so we went to Sephora and they said that this is a really good alternative to what it is um, the girl said actually if you want it to smell the same you have to use uh, Juliet has a gun in mmm and uh, flower bomb by Victor and Rolf like mix them together like one in one and it's the perfect scent but I've already tried Victor and Rolf and even though it smells really good it doesn't smell good on me so I decided to get this I mean it was $25 off otherwise I wouldn't be I wouldn't get a perfume if I was unsure um, and then because I got this and it was my birthday I uh, got the birthday gift. I'm probably just going to throw this into my giveaway mountain. Um, super cute, right? It's a little blush and a little, um, I think that's a long wearing um, lip, matte lip color. And then a, I don't know what the difference is with this. This is a Beauty Blender Solid Pro because it's the black one. So what's the difference between this and the white? Like, I don't understand. But either way, their solid cleanser is life changing. Uh, this is just some PR that I got yesterday. This is from Flower Beauty. It's all their lip colors. Let's see if I can open it. <laughs> so it's all their it's all their lip colors. Holy moly! This is why I don't do unboxings. Like how some of these like really pretty vloggers like do their unboxings on Insta stories, because I'm awful. Um, and then this one is also I don't know what to do with this because it's personalized, but I don't use this um, glycolic acid toner. So it's a giant like super size with my name on it, but I don't use this toner and I know a lot of people really like it So I don't know if that's weird um, Here's the other drawer. I probably should have started with the first drawer So there it is. I actually really like flower beauty products. They're super super good. However, I never go to Walmart you guys know me and Walmart are not friends, so I never go and get the chance to do hauls for Flower Beauty. Yeah, so right now I'm gonna unload the dishwasher and then I think I'm just gonna make some breakfast. More comfort food, cause you know, awesome. And then um, I need to paint my nails. This is, you guys, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't, I haven't even picked at them. This is just chipping. Um, I feel like they've gotten like wet and soft and boop, it just flicks off. Oh, and I need to do a mask. My face is so dry. Do you guys hear the heater running? Do you guys want to see the supermodel? Oh, who's in the most supermodel? Oh, who's in the most supermodel? Oh, so who in the most supermodel? Oh, you so no handsome. Yes, you're pretty too, Marn. You're so pretty too. You were too busy eating your breakfast. All right, ignore me, bro. What's up? You say good morning? Do you want some lipstick? It's a lipstick. <laughs>
it's 12.30. I've literally done nothing with my life. I FaceTimed with Sam for like three hours. And the only reason, sorry guys, <laughs> my bad. The only reason we got off FaceTime was because our phones were dying. <laughs> And you can't connect them and charge them and like prop up the phone at the same time. Oh, though, I did th do this. While we were FaceTiming, we both did our nails. So it was kind of cute. Like we were doing our nails together. Well, I miss Sam. But yeah, look at that. How cool is that? It kind of looks like eyeballs. But I saw this in like a trendy fashion magazine. I think it was like in a L or Vogue or something. And I was like, I need that in my life. Um, so that's it. I just turned on the shower. I need a shower get ready um and then film a few videos and uh yeah it's gonna be a cool saturday i love saturdays that start off like this like super chill and relaxed and can you talk about this do you see what she's doing do you see the bowl this bowl had blueberries in it and she got to eat them all but she doesn't know that there's no more in there so she's like can i have some more can i have some more there's no more there's no more no more Poor Mern. Hey, you guys, 5.30. I haven't done anything. Um, I was supposed to have plans this evening or night. Um, they got canceled last minute, right after I had blow dried my hair already. And I was like, so my plan was to get ready, film, and then head out, right? So my plans get canceled uh, when I'm fixing my hair. And I'm like, well, since I don't have plans anymore, I guess I could just film tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm just sitting on the couch, clearly with my sidekick over here. Um, eating a quesadilla that I made with ham and cheese. Look at her. Savage animal. Um, well, that's it. That's all we're going to do today. I wonder if there's anything. Do you mind? I wonder if there's anything good on TV. Probably not. Cause it's Saturday. Kind of lame, but that's okay. It's kind of nice to just have like an off day, you know, where I'm just relaxing. Although I did that last night too. Maybe that's good. No complaints over here. You guys, happy Sunday. It's two o'clock. Clearly I'm sucking at life and vlogging. Wow, this weekend has been kind of not as I planned it. So this is my last vlog before I take two weeks off, or rather, before I see you in the new year. Um, and I haven't done anything. Friday was a total, like, it was just a wash. I went to my doctor's appointment, totally screwed with me. Uh, I didn't even go to my concert. I stayed home and over eight. Then Saturday, uh, I had plans and homeboy kind of flaked on me. So I was like, all right, well, it'll be another self-care day. I watched TV all day. I cleaned around my house, did laundry, nothing important. I was asleep by like 7.30. Yeah, it's not awful. It was actually kind of awesome. But today's Sunday, my last day before my boys come back and I have to go to Target. I have to film two videos. I have to edit one of them. Uh, and that's it. So right now I'm gonna do some quick makeup. I'm not gonna do any face products. I'm just gonna do probably uh, mascara, a little brow gel and I don't know, a little spot concealing here? I don't know, honestly, probably just mascara. Uh, and then we will, um, I don't know, film a video or two. Um, so what I wanted to do originally was my P.O. Box unboxing in a separate video, because I know a lot of you guys aren't really into that, but because this video is gonna be so short otherwise and you guys like to have longer vlogs, I'm actually just gonna do the unboxing today in the same video. So if you guys have sent me something probably in the last month, it's probably gonna be in this video. I went to my P.O. Box on Friday, so I should be pretty up to date on the stuff that was in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna throw that in this vlog and you might wanna pay really close attention at a certain point around the video when I do the unboxing. Just saying. Um, but yeah, two o'clock, that's it. We're gonna go to Target. We're gonna put on some mascara. We're gonna film a few videos. And that's all we're doing today.
5.30. I just finished filming a Q&A and my monthly favorites. Um, right now, I'm gonna head over to Target and then I'm also gonna buy some food. I actually had my hopes up. I thought I was gonna get my HelloFresh this week, but there was an issue with my delivery. Um, so, like, I thought, oh man, I'm gonna cook all these delicious meals for myself this weekend, so I'm not even gonna have to bother. But now I'm gonna have to venture out into this cold, cold world of Sunday and find something to eat. I don't know. I have to go to Target first for sure because my dogs don't have any more vitamins. So we'll do Target, we'll do food, and then when I get back, I'll end up this vlog. And the way that I'm gonna close this vlog is with an amazing giveaway and my P.O. Box unboxing. So I'm super looking forward to that because I've been dying to open all your packages for like a month and I've just, I haven't had time. So now is the time, but after I'll feed my belly. Target and um, I'm checking out and I have my panda wrapping paper on the conveyor belt and the Target associate Debbie hi Debbie she goes oh my god you're Danny and I was like oh I still get a little nervous when that happens to me because I'm like oh my god did I like pick my wedgie right before this moment or did I like do something super embarrassing <laughs> So hi Debbie, it was so great meeting you. She is so sweet and friendly. So if you guys come to the Target um, on El Dorado, say hi to Debbie, super, super sweet. This is literally the Target I'm always at. I can't believe I haven't met you before. Um, right now it is, what time is it? Right now it's six o'clock. Um, I'm gonna go figure out something to eat. I kind of want to eat sushi, but I don't want to wait for it. Is that bad? That's a bad life choice. I don't know. I'll let you guys know what I end up choosing. Um, I just got home, put away my groceries, hanging out with the dogs, and I'm gonna sit at my desk and eat my dinner as I work, as per usual. I have to make it a point to like stop eating while I work. You know, like combining two things. Like I actually should just honor my meal <laughs> and just eat, but um, that wouldn't make any sense. So I'm gonna sit here, eat my burrito, and uh, edit tomorrow's video and then after that we'll go do our unboxing so excited hey, hey you guys it is 9 30 i'm so tired i just finished editing my favorites it's gonna go up tomorrow but i thought while that uploads i might as well get started on my p.o box mail so i'm super excited about that stay tuned to the very end of this unboxing for a very special invitation and message for you guys um so we're just gonna go ahead and get started this stuff has been accumulating 
for the last, I would say, month. And a lot of you guys expressed a little bit of a concern like, oh, you know, I sent you something and I haven't seen it. I haven't unboxed any of it. Like, it, I was saving it so that you guys could see me unbox it. I'm actually pretty excited because a lot of these packages are international, which is kind of a rarity around these parts of town. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with this giant box because I feel like I got this one the longest ago. Like it's been sitting there for a very long time. And this package is actually from um, Britain. It was paid in pounds. So I'm guessing in the UK somewhere, right? Am I even close? Am I? <laughs> Am I making any sense? <laughs> so, it's a pretty big box. Can we talk about that? And uh, super cool. And I've been very anxious to open it because the labeling is very suspect. It says it has to stay, you know, this specific side up and it's fragile and stuff. So I'm like, uh, wow. Oh, look at this. What is this, you guys? Are we getting fancy gifts from my pandas? I hope not. I would be super flattered, but oh, let's see what's happening here. All right, so it looks like it's a pen maybe. Oh, you guys. Oh, why are you guys so sweet to me? Look at this. It's a pen in my favorite, favorite color full of Swar Swarovski crystals. I'm the worst at saying that. <laughs> are you judging me? Oh my gosh. I think I'm probably one of the few rare humans left on this planet that still enjoys writing things like cards, letters, shopping lists. Like I still handwrite stuff. I'm so going to put this in my purse. I think they move too. Oh, it's beautiful. I, mean, I can't believe you guys spoil me this bad. Oh my goodness. That is so sweet. Now let's find out who this is from. Coloring courtesy of my three-year-old. <laughs> Look at that. How sweet is that? I let my kids do that whenever I have to write something to or if I have to mail something to my best friend, Sam. Like, I let my child go to town on the outside packaging. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, Just for you. How cute is that letter? Wow! So not too long ago I got an email from a husband of a subscriber of mine that was trying to figure out a way to send me a parcel and he was having so much trouble doing it. Um, and his wife's name is Lana and it turns out that uh, Lana's father passed away and she's sharing that she found a lot of comfort and solace in watching my videos. Um, and whenever I get messages like this, it's very um, flattering to the point where I get emotional because I can't believe you trust me that much to um, allow me into your heart and to make you feel better. So it's the best compliment I can receive and if I was able to keep you company in such a hard time in your life, the only thing that I can do is thank you for trusting me you know, with your heart and your time. So I don't know what else is in here, but I'm sure it's gonna be as amazing as you and your beautiful family are. <laughs> so let's keep digging in. <laughs> oh my God, I love these. I love these. So these are worry people from Guatemala and these are handmade little dolls. I believe you're supposed to give them your worries. So let me show you guys, let's see if I can open this. So these worry dolls are handmade and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to give each of them a worry, something that's worrying you, that's making you sad, that's causing you stress. And so you give these little people your worries and you put them under your pillow. And it says that when you wake up in the morning, this little person will have taken that worry away from you and it's off of your heart now, it's not weighing you down. Growing up, my mom used to always have these little dolls. I never understood what they were for, um, but I would always take them because they were miniature and cute and small, and you know, I've always liked little things. Um, but I feel like the timing of these worry dolls is very good, um, and I really appreciate it. These types of gifts are the ones that just blow my mind. Um, then we have a notepad. 
Wow, this is beautiful. This is so my style too. Like I, I collect notepads and I write notes in all of them. I should show you guys, I don't think I have them here. My mom gave me one of the most amazing gifts ever for my birthday. There were these custom made notepads with pictures of Frida Kahlo on the front. Just amazing. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that totally like my style? <laughs> and then this one, this one's what I'm most intrigued about because it has like fragile tape all over it. So let's see what we got. <laughs> you guys, I can't believe what I'm looking at. <laughs> Can we talk about this for a second? Don't let my ring light interrupt you. So this is obviously gonna go up on my gallery wall because not only is it white, but it's absolutely one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. <laughs> Why am I getting so emotional? <laughs> I'm not getting my period, I promise. This is so special, you guys. Um, so, munchy poo, munchy poo frames. Um, this is amazing. Uh, munchy poo frames on Instagram. I'm going to have to totally list and link this uh, social media account down below because if you can make something this amazing, uh, people need to know about it. Uh, it's basically a gallery frame with um, Scrabble blocks with words that are important to me, like YouTube, Mommy Pearl, Quachinas. <laughs> That's my favorite. There's pandas all over it. Fun, inspiring, beautiful collection. Makeup lover, Lotus. Oh my God, Lana, you made my year, my month, my minute, my second, the rest of the year, this is I can't thank you enough. I don't know. I don't know what I could possibly do to ever thank you for such an amazing, thoughtful gift that I, <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> You'll know I never get speechless. This is amazing. I kind of want to stop the camera now and go put it up on my gallery wall, like immediately. Thank you so much, Lana. You absolutely made my day and, uh, Thank you for allowing me into your home and your heart and trusting me in such a difficult time for you. And uh, you guys might not know this, but 2017 has definitely been a very difficult year for me. And one of the um, motivators, you know, besides my young sons and my dogs, uh, has been you guys, you know, being able to show up for you guys and to give you guys that a uh, little gusto and, and burst of positive energy that, you know, might turn your day around. So you guys do that for me on the daily basis and stuff like this is stuff that I feel I don't, will never deserve, but will humbly accept and uh, hold on to forever. Now we're moving on to this package and this one comes from Downey, California. From, oh, this is from my friend Martha. Martha is uh, the creator, owner of The Good Candle. Do you guys remember that super awesome candle company um, that I'm obsessed with? Uh, happy, hi beautiful, enjoy this candle with your babies. I hope it creates a great holiday memory for you. Included is a little one for you. Included a little one for you. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I think this is our holiday candle. I just got this this week, so how cute. Look at the packaging, that's adorable. You see that? It has like the Christmas ribbon around it. I think I have to open it here though. Santa arrives in 25 days. Let's light up this candle and show him the way. We'll cross out each day until he is here with his sleigh full of toys and flying reindeer. Oh, it's too late, isn't it? How can I, how can I light it super fast so that it actually it actually works? Does it smell like Christmas? Oh, it smells like Christmas. Oh, it smells like cinnamon and like pine and balsam, whatever that is. It just sounds holiday. 
Oh god, that smells so good. And it comes with a crayon. Look at that. A big fat crayon. So the idea is that you light it every day, I guess, for a certain amount of time. Um, and you use this little crayon that it comes with and you cross off the dates. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. Then we have a box from Amazon. Um, and these, I often get Amazon boxes from you guys. Um, and I don't know where they're from or who they're from. So hopefully there's a little note inside. Um, looks like we do. I saw this and thought of you. Your videos motivate me to be a better version of myself. You are like my long lost friend that I'll probably never get to meet, which makes me happy and sad at the same time. Please don't change Gina R. Gina R, where are you from Gina R? This is awesome. Thanks Gina. I'm all thanking her, I don't even know what's in here. I already know I'm gonna love it. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's a giraffe, which you guys know I love. I love all animals, but I think pandas, giraffes, chubby pigs, Baby goats are my favorite. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It's a little tiny giraffe. Look how cute he is and he's so chubby. Oh my god, I love it, Gina. Look how special. Look at his face, too. He's like, don't tell me how to live my life. I'll stand in the middle of this mug. <laughs> this is so sweet. Thanks, Gina. Okay, then we have a package from Euclid, Ohio. Euclid, Ohio, but who is it from? Let's see if we can get in here. Oh my God, it's my favorite dry shampoo, you guys. <laughs> you guys, I get happy over like, the the fact that you guys thought about me, I get super excited. This is my favorite scent of dry shampoo. So this is from Anne, uh, Green Spring 72, and she said just a little something I saw and thought of you. So Anne is 44 and she lives in Cleveland. She's telling me a little bit about herself. She is already one of my favorite humans on the planet because she is helping her parents, which to me is it says everything I need to know about you. Um, and she said that um, she just loves watching my videos, especially my Mommy Pearl weekends. Um, I believe you will find someone again and it will happen when you least expect it. Aww. She met her husband on match. Oh, uh, and you just gave me kind of like a... Um, a boost of hope because dating has been especially difficult these last few weeks, uh, probably last few months, probably this last year. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a confidence kick in the butt. Um, I truly believe there is a plan for me and that it's going to happen when it needs to happen. So for now, I'm enjoying it and I'm learning something from every experience. But I want to thank you for thinking about me and for sharing a little bit about yourself. I already know I love you. Uh, and say hi to your mom and dad for me because you say they're hysterical. I totally believe you. Listen, if they raise such a, such a, such a great daughter like you, they're probably more than just hysterical uh okay so we got this one this is also an international package how cool is that um let's see got my scissors here this is from northern ireland what what oh look at this wrapping paper that's nice this is fancy you guys it's a chubby chicken <laughs> oh my goodness look at this chubby chicken look at her little legs oh it's so cute this has to mean something right or is it just because you know i love animals oh it's so cute let's see what the card says okay it says it's always tea time um hi danny just a small gift all the way from belfast i've watched your vlogs I love your loving and positive spirit. I really look forward to your vlogs. I hope you I hope you feel better soon. Also, you're a damn catch. Don't forget it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> look at my chicken. <laughs> Isn't this the cutest little chicken ever? Oh my god. This is an international chicken. I've never gotten an international stuffed animal before. Oh, and you can barely see her eyes. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> okay, you guys, I feel like this is Christmas, my birthday, Hanukkah, 
all wrapped into one. Oh my god, I'm so glad I saved all of these right now to open them. It's totally it's totally making my Sunday. Then we have um, a package from Germany. Oh, Germany from Petra. Petra from Germany. Okay, so it looks like we got some sheet masks. Ooh, I've never seen any like these. Oh my God, Petra. Oh my God, Petra, you just made my day. Oh, look at what she sent me. If you guys watch all my videos, you know why I'm so excited about this. Look at this. I'm always complaining about how this Zueva brush is my favorite brush on the planet, but it's so hard to get in the US. And she sent me two, and one of them is pink. So the Zueva um, 234 is the best flat shader brush you're ever gonna use. The best, absolutely by far, a million times over, 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 over. It's the best flat shader brush you're ever gonna use, but it's more of like a European, like it's, it's readily available to European countries as opposed to the US. And you can't get it in the US, but shipping's very expensive and it takes a really long time. Kinda need to get my stuff within like Amazon Prime mode, like within two or three days. <laughs> Pedro, you made my day and I got two! Oh my god! And then she also sent these sheet masks that I've never seen before. These are like, they're like the shapes of food. They're like slices. I want to open it right now and I want to use it. Look at this. Like that's what you put on your face. How cool is that? I've never seen anything like that. How do I not know this? I'm like the sheet mask. Oh, Petra, you made my whole day. This is literally Christmas for me, you guys. Let's see what Petra says. So Petra is originally from Hungary, but she lives in Germany and she's saying that um, she doesn't get to see her family as often as she would like, kind of like me. Um, she really enjoyed my vlog where I went back home to visit my family. Um, and that we have a lot in common. I love when you guys take the time to tell me about yourselves because, you know, getting a present from you is very nice and it makes me feel a world of amazing and special. But if you tell me a little bit about yourself, like what you're doing, how old you are, if you're married, if you have kids, it just allows me to kind of uh, be a part of your life for a little bit or imagine you um, and a little bit more about you. It's just, it's, it's important. I want to know about you guys just as much as, as you like to know about me. I want to know about you. So Petra, thank you so much for taking the time to think about me and for these brushes. <laughs> you guys, I'm, I'm telling you, these brushes, <sighs> the, the Zueva 234 Lux Smoky Shader. You need it in your life. I've never met a brush more amazing than this one. It packs so much eyeshadow in there, especially with palettes like Lorac or Anastasia Beverly Hills, like the Subculture palette. It packs so much color that you don't need to re-dip. It's <clears throat> amazing. Petra, I love you. Then we have a really beautiful gold package from Sabina Schmidt, and she is from Georgia. So Sabina's telling me that uh, she suffered from anxiety for a long time. Um, and that YouTube was actually a way for her to uh, feel better and be in a better mood and kind of recover from it. So she's just sending me a little thank you gift from her Etsy shop. So Sabina has an Etsy shop called Sabi Secrets. Um, let me show you guys how beautiful this is. This is so pretty. Look at that. Look how shiny it is. It's really pretty. Okay, Sabi Secrets. We're gonna put this, oh, look at it, it's my size. It's usually really hard for me to find jewelry that fits these like tiny little toddler wrists. So if you guys like that bracelet, here is Sabi's information. What a cute nickname, Sabina or Sabi. And then I have sort of an anonymous package because I can't really tell where it's from. Uh, Lexington, Kentucky. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, what is this? Who is it from? I don't know. I don't know who it's from, but I know it's a panda. What is this? Oh, it's a backpack. I actually bought these on Amazon when I did my meetup 
in uh, Dallas, I hosted like a luncheon and I filled a couple of these bags just full of makeup to the brim and I had like a raffle. It wasn't a raffle, it was like a, a giveaway. Like everyone had like a special emoji on their on their name tag. Um, so cute. I actually, <laughs> when I bought these, I was like, those are kind of cute. How come I didn't get one for myself? And then my son, my almost three year old, is obsessed with pandas. I don't know where he got it from because like I started to like pandas because I would call my dark circles panda eyes. It wasn't like, oh, I love pandas, the animal. It was just, it kind of was birthed naturally from, you know, my dark circles. But he, from a very young age, I think it's the whole black and white thing. Um, you know how babies gravitate towards like black and white objects. He just, he's obsessed with pandas. Obsessed with pandas. When I can't find him, he's in my study grabbing all my panda collection memorabilia, fan mail or whatever, and just like playing with it for hours. So I don't know who this is from, but thank you for thinking about me. I absolutely love it. Then we have another one. This again is from Amazon. So hopefully there's a little card inside. Um, oh, there is. This is from, it doesn't say who it's from. Oh, it doesn't say who it's from, but it's a keychain. <laughs> it's a really cute, cool panda too. Oh, who's it from? Well, this blows. I hate when it doesn't come with a note because then I can't thank you properly. But I mean, at least you get to see me super excited. <laughs> Look at how cute this is. Let me show you guys. Look it. Look, he's a kind of a nerdy cool panda. Isn't that adorable? I'm gonna go put that in my car. Super cute. Thank you so much, whoever sent that panda keychain. It's kind of amazing. Then we have a package from Houston. It's actually, it doesn't have an address. It's like super anonymous. It's like Houston love. How cool is that? <laughs> Let's see what we got in here. I don't know what it is, but it smells really good. Like wood. Oh, this is special. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's a panda with glasses and a mug. Why does my voice go up that high? This is from Angela. Hope you love it. Look how, it's actual wood. That's what I was smelling. Oh, that smells so good. How do you even do this? It's a panda with glasses holding a mug. Oh, look how cute he is. And he's so chubby and little. Is there a card? Oh, there is a card. Okay, cool. Let's see. I just read the most amazing letter ever, but she said she included her card, and it's not in here, and now I'm going to panic. Where is it? Where is the card? I feel something in here, but I don't see anything in here. Where is it? Is it in here? Oh, it is in here. Okay. Cakes, cookies, and more from uh, Angela Lang Langlo Langlo. Is it French or is it Langlois? Oh, I don't know. Okay, so she does custom cakes, cookies, and more. Um, I will show you guys her Facebook. I'll link her Facebook in the description box below. I won't put her phone number just to be safe, but she does custom cakes uh, and cookies and desserts. Um, her letter is so awesome. Her letter is actually from the beginning of October, so I don't know how long I've had this, this package for, but um, she is from Houston, divorced, has two kids. Um, she is very, very sweet. Um, you are so positive and just make me so happy. Thank you for making me happy. Being alone sometimes sucks but you show me that you make your own happiness and I really, really appreciate you. Um, I feel like Part of the reason why it's so easy for me to stay on YouTube and be a part of YouTube and keep coming back to YouTube and get so excited to film for you guys is because we've created a community where it's okay to say that you're lonely. It's okay to say that you want a boyfriend. It's okay to say that you don't need a boyfriend. It's okay to say that being a mom sucks sometimes and is hard. It's a safe place to say what's on your mind as a woman and a woman that feels and a woman that is struggling. I'm constantly judged for my parenting style, for my choice to date, for my wardrobe, for my obnoxious voice, for being emotional, and I'm okay with that because you know what? At the end of the day, it's uh, it's who I am, and if it allows for you guys to feel safe and comfortable, and I can cheer you up, and I can make you feel okay to be emotional and to say what's on your mind, then guess what? I'm going to keep doing it. So, um, 
Thank you so much for taking the time to think about me and for gifting me something so special. Handmade things, you guys, are the best gifts. Ever since I was little, my parents were like, handmade gifts, handmade gifts are the way to go. Like if you put your time and energy, your sweat, your love into something that you made with your own hands, doesn't matter what it is or what it looks like. So Angela, you totally made my night with such a beautiful plaque with a chubby panda. Oh, you guys, handmade gifts are the absolute best. Now we have a couple of cards and I have a ton of letters that I do want to read, um, but I wanna do those you know, on my own time so I can actually enjoy them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these letters. I have a stack of letters. So there's one from Angela in Tennessee from Cindy in El Paso, Sarah in Tucson, Arizona, uh, Nikisha from Jamaica, Nikisha Grant from Jamaica, how exciting, look at this. Her stamps are even from Jamaica, how cool is that? I kinda wanna keep the envelope forever, like this is the closest I'll ever be to Jamaica. <laughs> oh, and then we have a letter from Canada, um, from S. Theron. Um, and then Caitlin from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Then we have a letter from Santo Domingo, República Dominicana. Who is this from? Let me see, I'm gonna open it just so that I can get the name right because I can't read it on the outside. It's a little smudge. Let's see, what do we got from República Dominicana? Dinel, Dinel from República Dominicana. Oh my God, how exciting is that? This is a really long letter. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my nightstand. So if you guys wrote me a letter, I look forward to reading that. I don't know why I didn't read those ahead of time, but anyway, so we'll get to those. And we have a couple of cards. This is from Laura in West Hills, California. And, oh, how cute, you've got mail. Look how cute that is. I was like, why is this card so chunky? Now I know. Oh my God, Laura, you're the absolute best. So Laura sent me a card with a list of scripture because she's been watching my vlogs and knows that I've been fighting some yucky illness. Um, so I'm gonna actually put this inside my Bible so that I can look up each of those scriptures individually. Acts like this mean so much to me. Like, I can't even tell you guys. I, I could just keep saying thank you, thank you over and over, but I hope you can just feel how happy you guys make me. Um, this is a card from Hazel in Concord, California. And let's see what we got. Oh, it's a Halloween. Oh, look at this, a bit of kitty. It's a chubby kitty. Oh, it's a Halloween card. Oh, dear Danny kids and pups, wishing you all treats and no tricks. Love and friendship. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, you have like the sexiest handwriting ever. Wow. I'm gonna put this over in my little to read pile. Thank you for sending us a Halloween card. It's so sweet. I love when you guys include my sons and my dogs in your messages. It's, it's like you're a part of my family. You know, like you're making yourself a part of my life by making me a part of your life. So it feels really nice. So thank you so much for that. Um, and then, where is this from? This is from Norma in Canada. Ooh, let's see. In my imaginary neighborhood, you live right next door. Oh, don't even get me started on the imaginary universe we could create. Thanks for making my real life sparkle. Oh, this is literally the sweetest card ever. Wow, Norma, your BFF in my head. <laughs> Oh my god. So Norma sent me a letter. Dear Danny, I saw this card and thought of you. You're definitely my best friend in my head. I sent you a tweet to take care during Hurricane Harvey and when you responded, I ran into my 23 year old son's room so excited. You would have thought I had won the lottery. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're the best. Look at this. It's a bookmark, right? Yeah, it's a bookmark. Maybe I belong among the stars. That's so beautiful, and it's my favorite color too. Oh, but who is this? Who is this? Oh, Baxter, oh, he's so cute. Look at Baxter. Hi, Baxter. <laughs> Isn't he precious? Hey, Sophia, do you want a boyfriend? Do you want a boyfriend? This is Baxter. You're not impressed? Look at that, can you give him a kiss? Sorry, Norma, she is not impressed with Baxter. Just don't tell Baxter, okay? <laughs> You might hurt his feelings. Oh, Norma sent me a picture. Oh, 
Can I share it? I don't know if I should, can I share it? Is that weird? I kind of want to show you guys who I'm talking about. This is Norma and Ho oh Man, look at that. You guys should totally send me your pictures. That would be so cool. I love when you guys send me pictures. I think I've only gotten pictures maybe two or three other times. Um, and then pictures of dogs. Obviously, always pictures of dogs are a good idea. Norma, you're the best. So we got to get on this creating a universe together so that all of us can be like in our panda community. <gasps> How cool would that be? Like you live in like the city of Panda where the zip code is Panda. Okay, I need to really think this through because it's not very creative right now, but Norma, <laughs> you made my night. Baxter, hey, you gotta, you, are you gonna send Baxter a, a note or something? At least a tweet? Can I get some emotion out of you? It's 10.30, dude, it's not that late. What's going on? Are you cool? Then we have one more box. So this is from Vanessa de Heira. I hope I'm saying that right. I always want to say things in, in like Spanish and it's not always the case that I should. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh hello. Oh hello baby. Oh look, it's a panda the size of like a nine month old. Oh, oh, hello, little Joey. Oh, I automatically just name things for some reason. Look how cute he is. Oh my goodness. Look at him. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Oh, wow. Oh, there's something else, Panda. What is this? Shut up. What? Okay, these are fleece-lined knee-high socks and boot cups. Have you ever been watching my vlogs? Oh, look at that. It is a boot cuff. Okay, so it's they're lined with fleece, but they're like the bottom half is tights, and then the top half is a cuff, and it goes over your boots. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, and what is this? Simply gold. Oh, oh, it's just the box. Oh, look at these. They're panda earrings. Oh, it's like a whole box full of panda love. Who is, oh, let me see what else is in here. Living with joy, keys to personal power and spiritual transformation. Is this like a, this is a really, okay. This might seem weird to you guys, but I love to get hand-me-down type books. Books that like 40 other people have already read. I feel so like weird sometimes if I go to a bookstore and I get like a just brand new crisp book because I'm like, okay, once I read it, then what do I do with it? But when I get a book like this where it's like pre-loved, it just feels, I don't know, it feels so much more powerful, you know, like it was pre-loved. So this is a self-help spiritual book. Super excited to read this. I can't wait to jump in. Uh, refining the ego, recognizing who you are. Um, Subpersonalities, uniting the separate selves. Love, knowing the wisdom of the heart. Opening to receive. <gasps> oh, look at that, that's so awesome, thank you. Let's see what the card says. Okay, so the card. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys see my cheesy grin? I'm like, <laughs> let me help you with that wine. For your birthday, I found you a really cool bottle opener. We could only wish for someone like this. Love, Vanessa. <laughs> oh my god. Look at Vanessa and her beautiful family. <laughs> You guys are the best! <laughs> what does Vanessa say? Because Vanessa already made me laugh, so we're automatically best friends already. Uh, Vanessa, I have been a subscriber of yours for a few years. I'm 51, a single mother of three wonderful children. Hi, Christopher, Christina, and Christian. Christopher, Christina, and Christian. Hi, guys! <laughs> Super cool! So Vanessa says, I've also enclosed a self-help book I read over 20 years ago. I've never been into that sort of thing, but a friend of mine gave it to me. My whole life turned around after I read it. My friend had told me to pass it forward after I read it. I have never found anyone I wanted to pass it on to until you. I hope we can become good friends, and if you ever need me, I'll be there. I know what it feels like to not have anyone to turn to. Vanessa! Oh my god! Okay, 
you guys. I am absolutely, uh, ugh, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what to say without getting emotional. I especially don't know what to say because I'm gonna miss you guys for two weeks. I told you guys that I, I really need a break. Um, I need to disconnect, like really disconnect and just not do YouTube for a little bit, recharge my batteries, focus on my boys, on my health. Um, my diagnosis uh, wasn't good news, but it certainly wasn't what we initially thought it could be. Um, there were a lot of cancer related things thrown around and it was a really hard time for me um it was confusing and it was scary and i i didn't own it i didn't want to think about it i shoved it under the rug and i kept trying to be positive and to just think positive and and acting so much it's kind of takes a reverse toll on you it's exhausting you know and now that i have an answer now that I know that I have severe chronic anemia due to iron malabsorption, uh, I know that, you know, I know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, you know, that hopefully it works, that hopefully I get my answers, that hopefully the infusions make me feel better. If they don't, then we're back in a slump and it might be something bad again. But for now, I'm overtly optimistic because um, I know that there is a very special plan for me, just like there is a very special plan for you. And I wanted to just take five seconds to thank you guys so much, not for the gifts, not for the letters, not for the stuff, just for being you and for allowing me to be a part of your life. There is only one priceless, precious gift that you can never get back you can never give back and that's time. And by you guys giving me that gift, there is nothing else that I could ask for and you make me feel like the best girl in the world. Um, so you, <laughs> I, I'm looking down at all this stuff, you guys, and it's just, I don't know what to say except that I'm so thankful and so humbled and so blessed and I love you guys so much. So because I love you so much, um, I do sprinkle giveaways throughout my videos. I don't make a big deal about them. I don't announce them. I don't make a big deal because I want to make sure that those of you that are invested and that watch these videos and that look forward to them and know the days that I post, that you have sort of an advantage, you know? And if I'm like, giveaway! And I'm super announcing it all the time, whenever I get the chance, then I don't know it's gonna attract the wrong crowd. You know, it's gonna attract the giveaway crowd. So in this video, what I wanted to do was take a few minutes to thank you guys so much for your love and support. So in my last vlog before the new year, I wanted to take a few minutes to uh, share a very special giveaway with you guys. You know that whenever I do my makeup, I use my Simple Human 8 inch 5 times magnification. It's a pretty pricey mirror, but it's something that has significantly improved my skills in applying makeup. It makes me feel better about myself when I do a good job applying makeup. I look forward to using it. You know, it's a part of my beauty routine. I travel with it. Um, it's a great investment and it's completely changed my makeup life. And if I can uh, share something that I love so much with you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So if you guys saw my monthly favorites at the beginning of this week, if you've seen any of my Get Ready With Me's, you see me use this mirror in every single video. It is an amazing, wonderful, life-changing mirror, and I have three that need to find a very special and loving home. And because I know that all of you guys that follow me are amazing, loving people, loving pandas, uh, I really want to thank you guys and share the love. So if you guys are interested in getting your hands on a Simple Human 8 inch 5 times magnification sensor mirror, then check the description box below. There will be a link on how to enter this giveaway. It is open internationally. It's open to all of you guys and I really hope that you guys take advantage and enter as much as you can. I will leave the giveaway open until I come back in 2018. So it's going to be open for about two weeks um, and there are going to be some ways to enter daily and there are going to be some ways that require you guys to, I don't know, subscribe to this channel. And I know oftentimes we don't know how to to do these things you know like you stumble on YouTube and you just find a way to use it um, but 
Make sure that you check all those boxes and enter as many times as you'd like because I really want to make sure that um, you all have the opportunity to get your hands on such a wonderful, wonderful product and something that I can't imagine doing my makeup without. So I feel like it's going to be a way to um, bring us together and to have something to bond over because it's, it's makeup, it's beauty, it's a staple, it's an essential, and it's something that's changed my beauty life. And I hope that I can do that for you. So I wish you guys the best of luck in this giveaway. Um, you know, the funny thing is, anytime I host a giveaway, it the prizes always go to like the right person. It's insane the way it works out. You know, like uh, I'll select winners and I'll email them and contact them or I'll have a raffle or something and I'll literally get a response back from the winners that are like, you know, my father just passed away or my house burned down or I lost everything to my divorce or whatever. And it's just, it always works out the way it's supposed to. So it's, so easy for me to do these giveaways because it just, they always end up in the right hands. Just a little reminder and a heads up that I will be taking a break um, until January of 2018. I will be back on January 1st though. I'm gonna miss you guys so, 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 so terribly much, but I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog. All of the information in this vlog, my clothes, although I didn't really do anything this vlog, but anything that I was wearing makeup, was I even wearing makeup in this vlog? <laughs> Anything that you guys saw in this vlog, as long as I can list and link it, it will be listed and linked in the description box below, especially the link to the giveaway. I love you guys so much. Happy holidays. Happy whatever you celebrate. Happy New Year. Love yourselves. Take care of one another. Be kind to one another. And please, please never forget how much of a difference you can make in the most random person's life. So you matter to me. You're important to me. You're special to me. And, uh... I love you guys, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys! Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year, uh, Happy December, Happy January, I'm gonna miss you!